Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. My name is Paulo and I'm here for another video. This video will be inserted in the, um, included in the playlist of uh, pen repair videos, although this is not a pen repair that I'm making, it's about the pen repair that I needed to have done to my pen. So, that's what I'm talking about. Today I went to Mont Blanc to get my Mont Blanc 149 back from repair. So, I, I made a video some time ago and I took a lot of time to, to take it there. But just to let you know, I made a video one day about the Mont Blanc one, a versus video when I com where I compared the Mont Blanc 149 and the Sailor King of Pen, which is a pen that I really love and it, it also has the same format, the same same size, same kind of, same size of nib, so it would be interesting comparison. So I went there, I asked for, um, of course, I made that video, sorry, and when I, when I was cleaning the pen after the video, I was just flushing the pen, let me put this below so you can see the ink window, when I was just doing this to flush the pen, in one of the times that uh, plastic, um, plunger went down and when I did this it never came back so it got loose and I kept the pen aside for many months. One day I was talking with a friend and he said uh, I checked with Mont Blanc and that kind because he had one that had a similar problem and he said to me that the cost of repairing that would be just around uh, 91 euros and I said okay maybe I'll do it because it would be nice to have the pen working again although this kind of nib this architect nib is not perfect for me okay but even if I wanted to sell the pen someday it would be better to have a working pen so I went there about two months I left the pen so they said it would take more than one month because the pen would have to go to Germany to be checked, to be disassembled, uh, repaired, and then it would be sent back to me. So, all done. Yesterday they called me to go there, I went there, I, I went there today, and I brought the pen. So they gave me the pen, they said, please then check if everything is okay. Uh, the cost of the repair was that those twenty uh, those ninety one euros, so that was good. This was in a Mont Blanc boutique, and they told me that they of course replaced this plunger, they replaced the section at least, and they also if you saw my previous videos on this pen there was some defects on the cap. They told me once that I bought this pen used in used condition. They told me it, it, this, has, this should have been dropped and then there was some distortion of the cap around here. And so they told me that they replaced this and also the, the plating there was not that good. So they, they, they told me they replaced this part, they kept this dome and the clip but they replaced a lot of parts by that money. So I was quite happy to have the pen in about as new condition as possible. So the pen was in better shape than when I received it. Of course the clip is older so you'll, you'll find some scratches and all that stuff but the cap is now okay. When I was checking now the cap, uh, I was checking the pen and I was thinking with which ink will I ink it, I decided to look at it carefully and I found something and that's what I want to share with you, which is this. I will try to... I touch the camera, sorry. I'll try to leave this. Let me take the letters away to, to have a better focus and look here. Let me clean because it has the fibers from the background all over the pen. 
Now look here. This is the problem. You see, there is a big. Okay, it's not that huge. You don't see it at a big, uh, at a big distance, but there is a big gap between the clip ring and the bottom part of the cap. So, do you think this should be normal? I went and checked that video where I made the comparison of the Sailor King of Pen with the Moonblow 149 and this, is, this didn't happen in that version. So, what I think is that they replaced only this part, not the clip or the dome, and maybe, although parts go together, maybe there were slight changes all over the time, and this is not kind of a perfect fit. I'm not usually very OCD with this, but this time this is bothering me a little. What do you think? What is your opinion about this? Is this acceptable? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure of what I should do. However, and probably... I'm, I'm not sure if I will publish the video right now as it is. Um, I think I will go to the Montblanc Boutique again tomorrow and I think I will complain about this. I know that it is only 91 euros. They made a lot of repair and more than I expected, and that is nice on their side. But if they did it, shouldn't this be a perfect fit? Maybe if they replaced this part, they should have replaced all the cap. I'm not trying, I'm not. Of course, I need to be thankful because of what they did. That's not the matter of this discussion. I'm thankful of them, I will not say no, but you should have done everything. Not that. But if they did a step more than I asked, should, shouldn't that be completely perfect? At, at, after all, this is Mont Blanc. This is a luxury brand. Shouldn't it be completely perfect? I think I would accept more that the pen came with the flaws it previously had than with this kind of fitting. I think this is very, very strange. I would like to know your comments if you have this situation. As I was saying, I think I will go there tomorrow, again, and ask them what can they do. Of course, I'm not willing to pay another 91 euros just for the cap. I know that maybe to have a replacement cap it's more expensive than that, but I just want that fitting to be good. So I think I'll go there, I will complain. I'm not sure what they will tell me. Uh, maybe they will say that I need to send the pen again for more than one month to Germany for them to check. But I just I just really hope they don't they will not ask me to pay for it because I'm not sure what do you think this makes some sense to you I'm not as I told you I'm not decided to publish this video right away maybe I will wait for their their opinion their words on this I will not ink the pen to see if the seal is properly working or... I, I think this is another question and I should maybe address it separately for them to see that I didn't use the pen. I don't even have a repair because they don't give me a uh, repair with the specifications of all, of all they did to the pen, just with the price of the repair. So I will go there, I will ask, and maybe the second part of this video will be about that. If there isn't a second part and if the video ends now, it's because there was nothing more to say, but I'll try to go there and then I will let you know what they told me and maybe this is kind of a useful discussion. 
should they fix more than I asked? And if that's okay, and to me that is okay if they fix more than I asked, should that fix be less than perfect just because I didn't ask for it? I have mixed feelings, at least with a brand as high-end as Mont Blanc. I don't think this is a proper fitting for parts. And, by the way, just to finish the video, let me tell you that the, ki the clip is okay. It's not moving. It's, it's really solidly placed. So, it's not a question of not being completely screwed in place. It's just that these parts don't really match. Okay. So, first, when I got the pen, I was very, very happy for what they did. And now that I'm in home and I started looking at it, and I compared it with, with the, how it was in the previous video, I have to say that I'm a little disappointed. So, I guess tomorrow I'll go there and let's see what they have to say to me. So, I guess we will meet again in a few seconds for the second part of the video. So, here I am again. Um, what did I do? Uh, I went to Mont Blanc, as, to the Mont Blanc boutique, as I told you, and I left the pen there. I showed the problem uh, that could you easily be seen. At the store, they told, I, I, I told that my theory that maybe the new parts are not completely compatible with the older ones. They said, no, it's not a problem, it's probably just not fully screwed. I think that's kind of strange. Uh, she said she didn't have the tool to dismantle, to disassemble the cap and to try to fix it in place. So the pen will now go to Germany. Maybe in two months I will receive something some notice to get the pen back. So, uh, it's sad in a way because it is a top brand, but I, I know some mistakes can happen. Let's see how the pen will come back and when will it come back. So, I just wonder which were your experiences with Mont Blanc Costume Service. I, this is my first, so I don't really know how things usually work. Do you find this kind of problem common? And I really hope that when the pen comes back, it, it, it will come in perfect condition now. Regarding that aspect, I know it's not perfect, perfect because it's not a new pen. I'm not sad because I really need a pen. Fortunately, I have too many pens. To work with so but I was kind of wanting to have that big pen to make some new videos but that's how life is let's wait a little bit let's be patient and then I will let you know in a way it's always fun because it's always a matter or a subject for new videos here on the channel maybe you enjoy them I'm not sure so meanwhile I will have some other Moonblum pens to use when I am waiting for that one. This is an older one that a neighbor from my parents gave me. It's broken in many places, in many ways. I'm just showing them, Not, I don't really know exactly the names of the models. This is a very nice one. This is a student something. I have a review of it. Uh, it is a very interesting pen also. Cheap one, but works really well. And I also have this other pen, which is a Mont Blanc, I don't remember, this is six something, I think it's written there somewhere, sorry, just to leave this in a positive note, 677, maybe that, 5, no, sorry, 522, uh, it's not easy to see through the lens with the mobile phone. Okay, uh, 
622. This is another one. I don't remember the name of this model. It is a cartridge converter pen. It is also a nice one. I only have cheap Montblanc except for the 149. And finally, I have this one. I like this one a lot because it's this kind of dark yellow, almost orange, and it is the Mont Blanc Carrera. I'm not that much into cars. I actually don't drive myself. I have a driver's license, but I don't drive. And this is a fun pen. It is a, I really like, I, I really like the style. I like almost everything about it. So it's another fun pen, but very low end of the Montblanc pens. So this was just to leave this in a positive note. I will wait for the other pens. I have these ones to use. I have many other pens from many other brands to use also. And then I will update you. I'm not making these videos in any kind of retaliation against Montblanc. I know this kind of stuff happens, but I think it's useful that we in this community share the experience and maybe someday if some brands see these videos and take uh, some awareness of our uh, opinions on them and on their services, maybe they can get better. Maybe. I know I'm not a very important YouTuber regarding pens. I'm a small channel, so I'm not important in a luxury niche, but it's just my opinion and I just want everyone else to be aware of this kind of stuff. So this is all. I will be back soon with some other videos and maybe in one month, two months, when the pen arrives back, I will let you know what happened to it, how it is working and if it's all okay. So this is all. I hope to meet you soon. Bye.